now i am here to teach the last part of the topic nutrition and i welcome you all to this session last class you had learned about the parts of the human digestive system and now let us just recall the parts mouth leads into the buccal cavity and this buccal cavity then opens into the pharynx pharynx then leads into the esophagus or the food pipe and it reaches the stomach the stomach is located on the left side of the body and is j shaped the stomach then opens into the small intestine the first part of the small intestine is the duodenum the duodenum is c shaped then comes a small intestine which then opens into the large intestine the large intestine then opens out through the rectum and to the anus so these are the parts of the human digestive system along with certain associated glands such as the salivary gland that secretes saliva liver that secretes bile pancreas that secretes pancreatic juice gastric glands that secrete gastric juice and intestinal glands that secrete intestinal juice so now you will be learning about the mechanism of digestion before learning the mechanism of digestion you should know what are enzymes all of you are familiar with the term enzymes these enzymes are biological catalysts capable of regulating all biochemical reactions in our body so what are enzymes enzymes are biological catalysts that regulate biochemical reactions in our body what do you mean by biochemical reaction just as a chemical reaction there are certain reactions taking place in our body and these reactions are called biochemical reactions now chemically all enzymes are proteins the chemical nature of the enzymes are proteins and this is a three dimensional structure of an enzyme now why these enzymes are so important these enzymes are very important to our body because these enzymes catalyze the chemical reactions which are essential to support the life now let us come to the topic that is mechanism of digestion once the food is taken into the mouth the salivary gland secrete saliva the saliva contains an enzyme salivary amylase and this salivary amylase will digest the carbohydrate into maltose no protein digestion takes place in the mouth so once this carbohydrate digestion starts the food is then passes through the esophagus and reaches the stomach the stomach has gastric glands and the gastric gland secrete gastric juice the main constituents of the gastric juice are pepsinogen hydrochloric acid and mucus so gastric juice contains pepsinogen hydrochloric acid and mucus pepsinogen is the protein digesting enzyme and it is present in an inactive form so this pepsinogen is to be activated and this is done with the help of hydrochloric acid so let us understand the function of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid activate the pepsinogen to pepsin hydrochloric acid can also kill the micro organisms now mucus present in the gastric juice protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of pepsin no carbohydrate digestion takes place in the stomach the after digestion of proteins the food then reaches the duodenum duodenum is the first part of the small intestine into the duodenum opens the liver and the pancreas liver secretes bile bile has no enzymes but it is essential for digestion now why this bile is essential for digestion even though it does not have any enzymes this is because bile helps in the emulsification of fat what do you mean by emulsification emulsification is the breaking down of large fat globules into smaller droplets thereby increasing the surface area for the action of the enzyme dipase so that is the importance of bile bile has no enzyme but it is essential for digestion bile helps in the emulsification of fat emulsification is the breaking down of large fat globules into smaller droplets thereby increasing the surface area for the action of the enzyme dipase 
bile is temporarily stored in the gall bladder so gall bladder is the storage organ of bile now pancreas secrete pancreatic juice pancreatic juice contains protein digesting enzyme trypsin fat digesting enzyme lipase and carbohydrate digesting enzyme amylase trypsin digests proteins into peptides lipase digests fats into fatty acid and glycerol amylase digests carbohydrate into small short chain carbohydrates or maltose complete digestion takes place in the small intestine with the help of the enzyme intestinal juice or enzymes secreted by the intestinal glands intestinal glands secrete intestinal juice and this intestinal juice contains enzymes peptidases of the intestinal juice digest peptides into amino acids disaccharides present in the intestinal juice will digest disaccharides into monosaccharides some disaccharides saccharides are sucrase that digest sucrose into glucose and fructose lactase enzyme digest lactose into glucose and galactose and maltase digest maltose into glucose so complete digestion takes place in the small intestine with the help of the intestinal juice secreted by the intestinal glands so what are the end products of protein digestion in our body amino acid carbohydrate digestion in our body glucose and fat digestion in our body fatty acids and glycerol after digestion of the food materials the digested materials are to be absorbed by the blood so absorption takes place in the small intestine the inner walls of the small intestine there are finger like projections these finger like projections are called villi villi increases the surface area for the absorption of digested food materials so what is the importance of villi villi increases the surface area for the absorption of digested food by the blood what are villi these are finger like projections seen on the inner walls of the small intestine the digested food materials or the nutrients are then carried by the blood to different parts of the body where the nutrients are then assimilated or utilized for the synthesis of complex molecules the hind gut has no role in digestion of food materials its function is to absorb water the undigested waste materials are then digested out through the anus so that is all what you have to learn in this chapter nutrition i hope all of you have enjoyed today's class if so please comment like and subscribe for detailed notes of this chapter please register and log in to the site www.raniprideep.com thank you